Hello everybody, welcome back and greetings from Okinawa. Right now I am standing in front of a sign showing all the places that sell Okinawan pottery or what they call yachimun and I'm right at the entrance right here. Yeah, this ceramics shisa. This is a, um, a guardian I think um, and you see this um, all over Okinawa uh, in front of houses, um, on gates, in front of restaurants, etc, etc. And I'm right here standing at the entrance of this beautiful street. I'm so excited to be uh, showing you this place because this is one of my uh, favorite places to walk around Naha, uh, central Okinawa. And um, I'm gonna put on my mask if I need to, but right now there's really not a need because there's not many people around me. Yeah, I see like maybe two people. But anyway, welcome, welcome back. And if you're watching this in the premiere, thank you so much for spending some time with me. Thank you to my wonderful moderators. And to those of you who are new to my channel, thank you. Don't forget to press that like button and please subscribe if you enjoy these kind of videos. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so this is the entrance. Now, the first thing you might wanna do um, if you have some time, it doesn't really take too long, but um, they have the uh, Tsuboya Pottery Museum, which is the first thing you encounter. It's three stories, but the museum is um, actually just two stories, and uh, they do have like an English uh, um, translator thing that you can rent for free, and, and it's quite cheap. It's only 350 yen to enter this uh, uh, pottery museum, and that way, you get to learn a little bit more about what makes some Okinawan pottery very special. And this is the, uh, what I was talking about, I was talking about the, these uh, shisa on top of the, the house. Yeah, but anyway, ah, uh, let's go. One of the main reasons why I really wanted to come back to Okinawa, other than that it's a fabulous place, is you guys know I have a favorite mug, right? That blue one, well, I bought it in one of the shops on the street and I promised myself I will come back to look for another piece of ceramic I'm not really sure it's gonna be a mug it's gonna be a rice bowl I have no idea but something that I, I can truly love and something that truly gives me joy like that that cup I have at home so that's one of the reasons why I'm here and I'm, I'm really excited I can't wait to see um, what I can find so if you notice uh, the whole street is cobblestoned it is so beautiful and it's only a 500 meter in length uh, road, so it's not really that long of a road, but it's beautiful. Here's the first shop, and um, this is a pretty nice shop too. Um, I'm not gonna be able to take my camera inside and uh, talk. Um, most of the shops are very uh, small, and um, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to go inside and talk and show you guys anything. But like this shop right here, um, you can see some of the, uh, the, the offerings from outside. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to see. But anyway, yeah, th there are more shops down there. And hopefully I can show you what some of them look like. And I am going to be going into one of the shops. Well, I'm going to be going into a lot of the shops and I'll find something and I'll show you guys what I bought, okay? So this is a shop I don't really come to. This is more, um, very authentic uh, yachimun, which, you know, I like. I, I, I like um, eating out of them at like an Okinawa restaurant, but I do prefer something a little bit more modern. But yeah, but this is a very nice shop as well. And while you guys are here, there are a couple of places you can sit down, have um, some uh, Okinawan tea. It's called Bukubuku Cha, I think, Bukubuku Cha. It's like a bubbly, frothy tea. I've actually never had it before. I mean, maybe I'll try some later on today. This up here is a restaurant. Yeah, this is, is it a restaurant? Um, oh, it, it is actually um, a tea shop, sorry. It's a tea shop and um, I don't know, maybe they sell pottery up there as well. And this looks like a private residence, I think. Okay, let's continue. I was here yesterday actually and um, I came a little bit late so there, there weren't that many people around. This is a really nice shop right here. I have a feeling this is the, uh, the name of the shop. Chi? I don't know. I don't know. 
but um, yeah it's beautiful it's a very beautiful shop as you can see yeah actually this is one of my my favorite shops I'm gonna go inside and I'll check it out later on yeah here that's a shisa on sale I have a feeling I'm gonna buy a shisa as well for home you see I love these blue ones like this one right here isn't that pretty okay let's continue oh here you can also um here let's peek inside here shall we that's a cup right there remember these are all handcrafted yeah and many of the things here are one of a kind most likely i won't be able to find the same design i bought that three years ago and i was talking to the the shop owner about that cup yesterday and and she said yeah most likely we don't have that anymore that was probably one of a kind piece and the artist probably makes something else so hopefully i'll find something else here's a little spot that you can rest oh look this place uh, specializes in shisa these right here it says shisa senmonte yeah so i guess they have um, a variety of shisa if you want one to take back home okay so wait let's step into the park because um there are some examples of i think the type of designs that they use the traditional designs that they use in the okinawan pottery right here so check it out so th these are uh typical um okinawan designs for their pottery yeah which one do you guys like best yeah what's your style everyone has their own style i kind of like this one because it's a little bit modern but then i don't like these like um, grooves here i feel like it's going to be difficult washing <laughs> Um, yeah, those are carved. Yeah, but that might be, design-wise, that might be my favorite one. It's a beautiful day, guys. You know, the weather's been perfect throughout my whole stay here. Um, I only have um, a few more days here, unfortunately. I did think about extending my stay, but I don't think I'll do that. Um, I can always come back, you know? It's, it's, it's no big deal. This place also specializes in shisa. But they also have these uh, blue designed uh, ceramic as well. Th these are these look pretty modern, I think. No? Oh, I like that bowl. That's pretty. Yeah, these are very modern and well flowery. These are some flowery designs. Okay. <sighs> oh, okay, that's a nice shop too. Look, that's a really nice shop. Right here, here's the cafe, Yachimun Cafe, Buku Buku. This is the tea that you can have. The tea actually looks like that. It's, it's like foam. One, one day, I, I really need to try it out. Yeah. Okay, let's cross here. I'm gonna stay in the shade. Once you go into the sun, it's, it is pretty hot. Here's another store and these are a little bit more um i think traditional in design that's a coffee cup with a spoon i think yeah those are traditional designs i think this would be like for soy sauce yeah this place is uh not open today yeah these are the more traditional designs guys yeah they're pretty though aren't they I love it when they use blue. For some reason, I love the combination of brown and blue. Yeah, like my mug, you know. It uses both uh, brown and blue. Like I love this combination right here. Yeah. There, there. Okay, let's continue. I noticed this, this uh, building right here is new. Here in Okinawa, I noticed 
there's a lot of refurbishing going on which is i guess good and bad in a way because a lot of the traditional houses and uh, the, the the old buildings have been torn down so that is a little bit sad for me let's see if we can peek in here let's be quiet i find i found some blue ones Okay, I kind of like that one too. So I made my purchase. I found something I liked. Uh, I was gonna, I wanted two of two of them, but unfortunately they only had one because like I said, you know, a lot of these are one of a kind. So it's kind of hard to find two of the same things. Um, I wanted to get one for Satoshi, but uh, I'm gonna look for something else at a different store for Satoshi, but I did find something for myself. Let me show you what it is. All right, the lady wrapped it up really nicely for me, but I had to open it because I want to show you guys my new cup look at this this is perfect now this the blue isn't as vivid as my other cup but that's okay because um i feel like that that blue cup is a little bit too bright for uh winter so this will be my new winter cup my my tea cup i'm gonna have japanese tea with this isn't this beautiful i, ho I, I hope you guys agree with me i love the rustic feel of it and i love the sort of uh the you know that 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 rim on the bottom i like that and i do like the uh, gradation of the colors and yeah i find this very beautiful and it also feels really nice by the way this is a little sitting area outside the store and um i can show you like the the kind of different styles they have in this store by uh showing you um some of the 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 pots outside of the store you see, it's a little bit more modern. Like this one's totally modern. There's like cars. Uh, yeah, a car design. Yeah, but very nice seating area here. And yeah, love this shop. Can't wait to come back and, you know, almost like we find something I like again on my next trip here. Uh, I bought it, guys. And if you are wondering how much it cost, it was 3950 yen um with the tax it was um for about for 4000 no no sorry with the tax it was 3960 yen so it's about 36 us dollars in american dollars yeah it's not bad my other cup cost cost more so it wasn't too bad let's uh walk a little bit more bougainvillea something you don't see back home look this is the buku buku cha guys this is the tea i was talking about this is tea it's called buku buku tea isn't that interesting it's so interesting to me hmm i would like to have some beautiful bougainvillea i love it reminds me of hawaii ah i miss hawaii i really do i miss my family Okay, you know what? Let's go get some tea, okay? Okay, Okinawan Cafe, Gallery, Buku Buku. Yep, I'm gonna get some tea. Ah, one. Yes. Ah, ah, yeah. Ah, outside, are you okay? Yes. Ah, this is the inside. I'm gonna sit outside right here yeah this is perfect okay so let's look at the menu so I am thinking of getting the buku buku tea however they do have some other things here they have like ishigaki jima ginger ale um, ah, yeah that's okay they do have some uh, zenzai which is um, actually kakigori or shave ice. They call it zenzai here in Okinawan. But yeah, I think I'm gonna stick to my first choice, the buku buku tea. This is my water. They're serving it in a handmade uh, Okinawan glass. Yeah, I do have a couple of these at home. So this time I'm not gonna get any of these Okinawan glasses to take with me. One of the, one of the things I love doing when I'm on holiday um, especially you know by myself 
is just sitting in a cafe um, in a new city and just um, taking in all the surroundings watching people walk by and yeah just love it this is like one of the best things in life it really is all right guys so my buku buku tea has arrived look at this i've never seen anything like it so uh according to the guy oh by the way this set comes with uh three different types of um okinawan snacks these are um traditional okinawan snacks that um you know people used to eat from long ago and also the tea uh, used to be served to the um, to the to the royal to the to royalty, and so this is also a very old, um, a historical drink, I guess. You know, and he says it's a symbol of hospitality. Okay, all right. So um, he says um, you want to drink the tea along with the bubbles. So um, that's what I'm going to try and do. <laughs> Wow, this is difficult. And he says the bubbles are gonna get on your nose. It smells amazing. Mm. Wow. Are there bubbles on my nose? Well, okay, so it's an unsweetened tea. I got the ice one, you can also get it hot. It's super fragrant. Um, it tastes like um, genmaicha, which is um, um, like like barley or, or wheat, and um, so it has that that green taste. And then um, it also I don't know like like I I, I I I think he said like there's like three different things inside the bubbles, but I don't remember what he said. Ah. That's good. Yeah, for some reason I expected it to be sweet, but it's not. It's delicious. Look at that, that's where I drank. I don't know if you can see the tea. Can you see the tea? Shinsuko. So this is uh, one of my favorite, favorite uh, Okinawan uh, cookies. Yum, there's a dog in front of me right now. Oh, there's a guy walking a uh, bulldog. It's so, it's so cute. Mm. Cute. It's delicious. I love this so much. You know the ice cream, um, the um, blue seal ice cream, Okinawa ice cream. One of my favorite flavors is uh, this one. It, it, it's called shio chinsuko. I think salted chinsuko. This is this is the cookie. It's delicious. So I'm gonna take another sip of the the tea. Right. This one. So this is like a uh, is a sponge cake, and I, I forgot the name. It was a very difficult name to remember, and um, it's made of egg. Hmm. Hmm. Wait. It looked like castella, so I thought it was going to taste like castella. You know the the sponge cake. It is sponge cake, but it has some kind of um, flavor. Mm. It's a little bit herby, herby and fruity at the same time. How interesting! That this gets makes me a little bit curious now. What exactly is it? And yes, you are supposed to get the foam on your nose. The guy told me that. Yeah. Okay. And this is one of my favorite. I think this is called kumpen. Kumpen or kompen. I don't remember. But this is like a peanut pastry. There's like um, crushed peanuts on the inside. It's delicious. Mmm. Mmm, my favorite. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. Chinsuko. This one right here used to be my favorite, but I think this kumpen is now my favorite Okinawan traditional sweet. I actually prefer this to the 
the, the sweet potato tart that everybody buys. <laughs> All the tourists, not many, but the tourists that walk by because I'm sitting outside and they're watching me drink this. I, 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 I'm, I feel like I'm giving them a show. <laughs> Some people are taking pictures of me. <laughs> This is delightful. Mm -hmm. Now, the guy said, just make sure you don't breathe in the foam into your, through your nose. That's not a good thing. I don't know, some people might like it. Mm. Oh, it's delicious. The weather is starting to change. It's, it's a little bit cloudy. Well, it's a lot cloudy right now. And the waiter said it may rain, so if it starts to rain, he says that he'll help me go inside. But I think I'll be done by then. And the good thing is that it's very cool. Yeah, there's a nice breeze and feels really good. You know, I don't mind being the center of attention, uh, sitting in the cafe, drinking this, you know, everyone staring at me, seeing if, you know, <laughs> I can drink this properly. They're all tourists and, you know, if it makes them happy, it puts a smile on the face. No big deal. I'm glad to be a part of their day. Mm. Oh, look at this. The cup is nice too, isn't it? This is a handmade ceramic as well. And the plate is really nice. Too. Actually, everything is handmade here. Because we are, after all, on Pottery Road. Look at this. I love this design. Actually, that's a nice design. I actually like this set right here. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of like that. I'm going to look for something like that. This kind of reminds me of like the Dagona coffee. A little bit. But, you know, it's not because there's no milk or cream in here. And it's not sweet either. Here, one last look. One last look at the tea. All right, people, let me finish up and then I'll, I'll take you guys for a quick stroll before I end this video. Oh, that was nice. I really enjoyed that. I really did. Ah, oh, look here. At this shop here, they actually have a pottery experience. You can make your own pottery like this. Hmm, maybe on my next visit, I should do that. Now there are some, uh, there are, you know, many more uh, shops here, but there is just one street. I want to take you guys down. It's in one of the side streets and it is part of this area. And um, if I remember correctly, it's this street right here. Oh, that's a nice bow here too. Oh. Yeah. I like that. Hmm, they have some nice stuff here too. Oh, okay, I'll come back here. All right, so it's this street here, guys. Right here, there's this small street. Um, the other day, I, I came here with my friend who I accidentally bumped into. Oh, wow, look how cloudy it is right now. Please don't rain. Right, there, she saw. There's another she saw right here. But, I, I, is it down here? Mm to. You know what? Let's try. Let's try going down here. Oh, I see. This is a private house. This is a private residence here. I love that there is this uh, traditional house still standing here in Naha. It's very nice. Look at that. I guess this is a private residence. Oh, it is a private residence. Okay, sorry. So we'll turn back. That looks like it's a private residence. This is nice though, isn't it? I love this. And this is right in the middle of the city. You know, this is uh, within walking distance of Kokusai Dori, where all the hotels are located. Most of the, uh, the very expensive luxurious hotels like the new Halikulani Hotel. Yeah, they actually have a Halikulani Hotel here now. 
um, is like uh, way far out, you know, by the ocean. Yeah, I would like to stay in at the Halukulani one day. I would maybe for a couple of nights. The other day, my friend told me that this place serves really good Okinawan cuisine. Yeah, so maybe th this would be a place I can come next time. Yeah, this is the restaurant. Can't really see. I thought there would be some other things here. Um, the last time I came here, I thought there was some other historical building here. I don't see any. But I do see some more examples of Shisa here. You see, they're all over the place in Okinawa. You can find them in front of apartment buildings like this one on top of uh, the roof. There's a big one over there. I don't know if you can see, but there's a big one. Here, can you guys spot all the shisa? Yeah, there's another one up there. Another one on this side. Okay, let me just walk a little bit more. Because I'm sure there was something interesting. The last time I came, that's what I thought. I really love uh, the colors of the nani, the, you know, the, the, the orange colored roofs, the traditional Okinawan uh, uh, tiles. I really love that. Okay, I, I guess not. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. Well, that's okay. This is kind of nice, walking through a traditional Okinawan residential area. You see, it's very different from Tokyo, isn't it? It feels very tropical. Look, it look uh, I thought it was hibiscus, but it's not. Private residence. Oh, it's pretty. Am I at a dead end? Oh no, I don't know. No, uh, sorry. Ah, okay. So here you can make your own pottery. Again, you can make your own shisa. 3,000 yen takes an hour. You can make a cup, it takes 30 minutes. And you can do it all here. That's a nice looking building. Actually, th this is what I was looking for. Yeah, and there's a store in there as well. Very nice. All right, I think I'm gonna um, end the video here because I, I kind of want to go into that store because we didn't go. We, we didn't manage to go in the last time it was closed. But anyway, thank you so much for spending some time with me again. And I really hope you enjoy this video. I know this was a very chill type of video, but I, in my opinion, that's the best way to spend your days here in Okinawa. Sure, you can go to the aquarium, which I've actually never been to. Uh, it's a huge aquarium. It's a very popular tourist attraction. You can go to the beaches, of course, and you can spend your, your, your days and nights drinking on Kokusai Dori, but yeah. I prefer to chill like this and just just uh, experience the time going by really slowly. That's my way of uh, relaxing. Anyway, thanks guys and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye bye!